Hi friends, good morning. This is Stephen Ponugu Party. Back again with a new video. And today I am here at the Kutub Shahi Tombs in Hyderabad. And today we are going to check out this place. And I'll let you know everything you need to know about this place. Right now we see here one of the tombs. Uh, it's an Islamic style of architecture as you can see and uh, now let's go inside and check this place and these are these tombs were built in memory of the kings of the Qutub Shahi dynasty which ruled in, uh, from the Golconda fort in Hyderabad and this is a beautiful place with lot of trees and shade and there you can see another one so now we are going to go and check out and that's my friend John David yeah uh, so let's go now and check out and this is the view of the Qutub Shahi Park Commander's Tomb. Sava, yeah, 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 graveyard. Yes, graveyards. Kings. Now let's go. So, this is the tomb of Abdullah Qutub Shah, the seventh king. And this is the tomb. As you can see the architecture of this place, it has minarets and a dome in the center, which is an Islamic style of architecture. So this is the tomb of the 7th king. Uh, so now let's move on. This is the Qutub Shah Heritage Park proposed landscape. Yeah, this is the landscape. So, let's keep moving and here you can see the site exhibit of the Qutub Shahi Heritage Park. This is a small building which is site exhibit and you can see this is a really vast area with lot of grass and you can see banyan trees. And it's all dried out because we are entering into summer and it's really hot. So this is a very big banyan tree. So now let's go. So check this out guys. Look at this banyan tree. It's really so huge. And there is also some kind of a stone, stone structure inside. I think there is a tomb inside. And let zoom it. So that's a tomb. It's actually the replica. An actual tomb will be inside the foundation. So let's proceed. So friends, now as we can see here, there is an incomplete tomb made of stone which is uh, which is not completed it is an incomplete tomb uh, let's see whose tomb is this so let's go so as it's seen here it's the incomplete tomb of Mirza Nizamuddin Ahmad so this is the incomplete tomb I don't know why it is incomplete but it is left abandoned like this so that's it let's move on 
so friends here we can see another tomb this is a small tomb uh, which is built on a single storage structure so let's go and check whose tomb is this fatima sultana so this is the tomb of fatima sultana so she was one of the queen and here you can see the structure how it was built and you can also see renovation works are being done to preserve the place so this is the tomb of fatima sultana and you can see the islamic style of architecture which is typically a dome and minarets and that's a bigger tomb and let's go there and check it out here you can see some more small tombs and structures maybe these were for the soldiers and some others here you can see some sort of a fountain old fountain with uh, taps it is made out of so uh, brick i think and this is the inside so these are the small structures there are many small structures so now let's go and check out the bigger tombs so friends uh, we are at another tomb another bigger tomb and this might be one of the king's tomb so let's go and see whose tomb is this so this is the tomb of mohammad qutub shah the sixth king of the qutub shahi dynasty and as you can see this is a very big tomb because it's a king's tomb and i think some renovation work is also going on which is a sad thing originally these domes were covered with blue and green tiles at the time they were built but you can find none of them right now because of the deterioration through the years now we'll be going inside the tomb and we'll see what's there inside the tomb so this is sultan mohammad qutub shah the name of the king and this is the tomb actually as you can see this is the inside of the tomb this is how it looks the architecture and this is not the actual tomb this is just a replica of the tomb and the actual tomb is exactly beneath this one inside the foundation that is the actual burial site this is only for the people to see and pay their respects to the king and in a distance you can see some other small tombs right here i don't know they might be some family members or children so this is the tomb of the sixth king mohammad qutub qutub shah chalo so now let's go out and check out let's go out and check out some other tombs so this is outside the tomb as you can see a symmetrical type of a architecture with the arches and some sort of design and again here you can see that you can see writings on the walls and scribblings 
done by the visitors and the monument is not preserved well so which is a bad thing as i as we should not be tampering with the monument and trying to damage it and we should preserve our heritage structures for the future generations so it's it's our responsibility to preserve our heritage so now let's move on so friends as you can see restoration works are going on right now on this tomb and which again reduces the authenticity of the monument so now let's move on so let's check out what is there here it looks like an interesting place so let's see so guys as you can see actually this is some some water pond or a swimming pool it's like a swimming pool it looks really nice so there is still water inside it really looks interesting we were thinking of going down but i think it's locked and we are not allowed to go down but anyways it's a nice interesting place So now let's proceed and let's see what's more. So guys, we are trying to go inside from this place. There is a gate, I think, which is locked. I think it's locked. But this is really, a, really a interesting, crazy place. There are a lot of fishes as you can see here in the water the water is really dirty because it's so green but you can see a lot of fishes here i hope you can see i'll just zoom it mm. So I think you can see the fish fishes. So anyways this is really was an interesting place. So now let's check out that one. One of the bigger tombs here. So guys I am here and the mortuary bath so let's go inside and check out what it is so let's go so guys this is the mortuary bath it doesn't have any water but this is the mortuary bath and this is the dome above you can see the architecture of this place so that's it let's move on and also check this out guys 
This is also some sort of a water tank with a fountain which is totally dried right now but it might have had water before so moving on uh, we can see some more tombs here and this is a very big tomb and you see some more tombs in the distance some small tombs actually this tomb really looks awesome and great it's currently closed for public right now as we can see we are not allowed to go inside but I think you can see from here you can get a good view this really looks very nice I'll zoom it So guys, just take a look how beautiful this tomb is and the architecture is absolutely stunning. So let's check out whose tomb this is. So this is the tomb of Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah, the fifth king of Hyderabad of the Qutub Shahi dynasty. This king Muhammad Kuli Qutub Shah is really well known as we have studied about this king in our history books so his birth is in 1566 AD and accession is 1580 and he died in 1612 he is a really prominent one of the most prominent kings of this dynasty so that is his tomb it's completely closed right now and are under renovation so that's all guys in this place so these are all the tombs that we have covered at the Qutub Shahi tombs in Hyderabad so that is all guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and once again this is Stephen Pangupati signing off and as always Please like my video, share and if anyone has not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe for more such interesting videos in the future. So thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care and bye bye.